Welcome to Investigating the Universe. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of quantum theory, the realm of the incredibly small and the extraordinarily strange, the domain where the rules of classical physics crumble and a whole new theory takes the stage. Let's start with the basics. Quantum theory or quantum mechanics is the branch of physics studying the behavior of particles at the atomic and subatomic level. It's a world where particles can exist in multiple states at once, a phenomenon known as superposition. Imagine reading a book where the hero is both alive and dead until you flip to the last page. That's superposition for you. Now let's talk about the dual nature of particles. In the quantum world, particles can behave as both particles and waves. It's like being at a beach and seeing a single seashell, but when you go to pick it up, it ripples out like a wave. This duality is one of the most mind-boggling aspects of quantum theory. But how does this translate to our everyday lives? Well, let's think about flipping a coin. In our macroscopic world, a coin is either heads or tails. But in the quantum realm, it's like the coin is spinning in mid-air, and it's only when we catch it and look that it decides to be either heads or tails. The quantum world is a place of probabilities, not certainties. Things don't decide until observed. It's as if reality itself is hesitant to make up its mind until it absolutely has to. This is the essence of quantum mechanics. It's not just about tiny particles, but the fundamental nature of reality itself. So, remember, in the quantum world, things aren't as they seem in our everyday life. It's a world that defies our intuition, challenges our understanding, and redefines the very fabric of reality. But don't worry, we're just getting started. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into this quantum rabbit hole. Now that we have a basic understanding of quantum theory, let's venture into a mind-blowing concept, quantum immortality. Quantum immortality is a thought experiment that arises from the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. It's a concept that's as fascinating as it is perplexing. Imagine a universe, not unlike our own, where every decision you make, every turn you take, creates an alternate universe. Now picture that every possible outcome of your life exists in one of these universes. This is the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, and it forms the bedrock of our discussion on quantum immortality. But what exactly is quantum immortality? Simply put, it's the idea that you, as a conscious being, could theoretically live forever. How? Well, that's where things get intriguing. Quantum immortality proposes that when you die in one universe, your consciousness continues in another where you're still alive. It's based on the principle of quantum superposition, which suggests that a quantum system can exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed or measured. So let's say you're in a life-threatening situation. According to quantum immortality, the universe would split into two. One where you survive, and another where you don't. Your consciousness, following the path of least resistance, would continue in the universe where you're still alive. This could theoretically happen endlessly, giving rise to an infinite series of universes where you never die. Hence the term quantum immortality. Now, before you start contemplating your eternal existence, remember that this is a thought experiment, an interpretation of quantum mechanics. It isn't an established scientific fact. It's a fascinating concept, one that challenges our understanding of life, death, and the nature of reality itself. Quantum immortality suggests that we might live forever in a parallel universe. Sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But then again, we're delving into the quantum world, where the line between science and fiction often blurs. So buckle up and let's continue this journey into the fascinating world of quantum mechanics. The key to understanding quantum immortality lies in the many worlds interpretation. So let's dive into this fascinating concept. Imagine a majestic tree its branches reaching out in all directions, each one representing a different outcome of a situation. This is a simple way to visualize the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. In this interpretation, the universe we live in is just one of an infinite number of universes, each representing a different outcome of every possible choice, decision or random event that could ever occur. Whenever a decision is made or an event happens, the universe splits into different versions, each one carrying a different outcome. Think about flipping a coin. In our everyday experience, the coin will land either heads or tails, but in the many worlds interpretation, both outcomes happen. The universe splits into two branches, 
one where the coin lands heads and another where it lands tails. You, as an observer, will only experience one of these outcomes, but the other outcome still exists in a parallel universe. This concept may sound like science fiction, but it is a serious interpretation of quantum mechanics that many physicists find compelling. It resolves some of the paradoxes and strange phenomena that arise in quantum theory, such as the infamous Schrodinger's cat paradox. In the realm of quantum mechanics, particles can exist in multiple states at once, only choosing a definite state when they are observed. But in the many worlds interpretation, they don't have to choose. Instead, the universe splits, and each possibility happens in its own separate universe. So in essence, the many worlds interpretation proposes that for every decision you make, there are countless other yous in parallel universes making different decisions. Each branch of the tree represents a different universe where a different outcome of a situation has taken place. The universe, in this view, is constantly branching into different realities, each as real as the one we experience. Armed with the understanding of the many worlds interpretation, we can now explore quantum immortality in more depth. Quantum immortality is a thought experiment stemming from the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. It's a theory that suggests, in the grand scheme of the multiverse, you, as a conscious entity, never truly die. Here's how it works. Let's imagine a life-threatening situation. According to the many worlds interpretation, the outcome of this situation will cause the universe to branch into two. In one universe, you survive the situation. In the other, you do not. But here's where quantum immortality comes into play. Your consciousness, it's proposed, will only continue in the universe where you survive. This means that from your perspective, you always find yourself in a universe where you continue to exist. To everyone else in the universe where you didn't survive, you're gone. But from your point of view, you've simply continued on in another universe where you survived. It's a bit like flipping a coin. Every time the coin is flipped, the universe splits into two, one where it lands heads and one where it lands tails. But let's say that in this strange game, you will be instantly and painlessly obliterated in any universe where the coin lands tails. From everyone else's perspective, there's a 50-50 chance you'll exist after each flip. But from your perspective, the coin always lands heads because your consciousness can only continue in the universes where you survive the coin flip. Of course, this is all highly theoretical and not something we can test or prove. It's a thought experiment that plays out in the abstract realms of quantum mechanics and philosophy. It's not a ticket to eternal life, but rather a fascinating exploration of what might be possible given our current understanding of the quantum world. This is a mind-bending concept that challenges our traditional understanding of life and death. Quantum immortality is indeed a fascinating concept, but what does it truly imply? And how valid is it? Quantum immortality is a thought-provoking theory that challenges our understanding of life and death. It implies that death may not be the finite end we perceive it to be. Instead, it suggests that we might exist in an unending series of parallel universes, each one branching off from the choices we make. In this sense, it offers a radical new perspective on existence. However, the theory of quantum immortality is not without its critics. Some scientists argue that consciousness cannot be reduced to a mere quantum phenomenon. They claim that the brain's processes are too complex to be explained solely by quantum mechanics. Furthermore, they point out that the theory is untestable. After all, how can we prove the existence of an infinite number of parallel universes where we continue to live, especially when we can't experience or observe these universes? Another criticism is the anthropic principle which states that we can only observe and experience the universe that is compatible with our existence. This suggests that our perception of reality could be biased, meaning that quantum immortality might just be a product of this bias rather than a universal truth. Moreover, some critics argue that the theory is a philosophical interpretation rather than a scientific one. It's based on the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which itself is a subject of ongoing debate within the scientific community. In spite of these criticisms, quantum immortality remains a captivating theory. It invites us to question our understanding of life, death, and the nature of reality itself. It's a testament to the wonder and mystery of the quantum world, a realm where the impossible becomes possible and where our most fundamental beliefs are constantly challenged. Despite the criticisms, quantum immortality continues to intrigue us, 
offering a new perspective on our existence.